kidding me there, Arnie? I can't believe you tried to move this thing yourself. Why not? You're very lucky that I came by to help you, lady. Oh, excuse me. I mean, what are you turning into a chauvinist? Uh, uh, I'm a very big girl. I can handle things myself. You haven't got the guns, man. Yeah, chauvinist with big arms. Now, look at this. I want you to tell me, first of all, what you think of this print. I don't know where I should put it. Where do you think it? Oh! Oh, <laughs> very nice. Very smooth. You, were you a dancer? Oh, nice. See, what you're doing right here is you're actually proving the point I just made, okay? Yeah, sure. So what do you say, yeah, I just give you a hand up? Huh? Why don't you just oh. come down? Oh, <laughs> you're such an animal. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Right now as we're doing this, there's probably people wandering around this office. Yeah? They could come up here. They have compromising stills. Are you embarrassed? No, I'm not embarrassed. I just thought maybe... Then don't think. Because I don't care what people think anymore. All I want to do is think about you. Now, have you make me? Okay. Cruz hasn't checked in with you? Well, um, okay, well, if he calls you, tell him to call me, okay? Bye. Cruz? Coming. Hey, welcome home, Hi. you lovebirds. Well, we're feeling just fine. They wouldn't let us in the hospital room because you were contagious, so I thought I'd bring you a week's worth of flowers. Oh, these are amazing. <laughs> Thank you so now, much. Now, this card is from the wedding, actually, but I didn't get a chance to give it oh, to you, so... Wow. Thank you. Here these are beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Congratulations. Mm. Where's the man? I don't know. I haven't seen him since this morning. Well, wait, you two should still be honeymooning. Eden? What is it? Come on, Lucy. Come on, let's go. All right, here we go. Come to daddy now. Come on. Yeah. Oh, illegal. Those look like bones. Those are bones, man. They are? Are they, are they human? They look human to me. Yeah, this is no good, man. Who do they belong to? I don't want to venture a guess. But we gotta find a safe place to hide these things, Bob. This is no good. Get out of here. No way. No how. Them. Bones, them, bones, them. Where bones, them, bones, them, bones go. Rise again, them, bones, them, bones, them. Where? Oh, how nice to see you again. Working hard? Yeah, um, darling, I really don't have time right now, so maybe later, okay? Oh, this will only take a minute. I've got some news you might want to hear. Oh, I don't know about that. Wouldn't you like to know about all the things happening up at the Capwell house? Like the DA's been up there asking questions about the boathouse blowing up? And the Capwell family's acting real jittery. Especially Mr. Capwell. There's a lot going on. I just thought maybe you'd like the inside scoop. You know, Darlene, to be very honest, I'm really not interested, really. You know, Margo, there's a lot about the Capwells I could fill you in on. What makes you think I care? Oh, I just thought it might help you get a little closer to the prize. You know, the prize. You know, you've got a lot of nerves, lady. You know that? <laughs> oh, come on, Margo. Don't play this game with me. I mean, we're friends. We know each other. I just want to help you. Well, I don't want your help. And I'm not interested in what you've got to say, okay? Okay, fine. I never said a thing. But there may come a time when you'll remember this conversation. I hope not. You will, Margo. You will. I've been trying to reach Cruz all day, find out what he knows. Eden says he's still at the boathouse. Eden, do you realize what you're saying? Cruz is investigating Daddy for murder. Absolutely, but he's still just trying to find out the truth. 
Now, apparently, Julia discovered a report about Hal Clark's auto accident. It's put everything in a new light. I don't know. This seems very dangerous to me. I know. This... Eden, this is impossible. Daddy put... I mean, Pamela is capable of anything, but not Daddy. I agree, but Cruz... He is convinced that Pamela and Daddy are hiding something. He wants to get to the truth before Keith can distort it for his own purposes. You know, Pamela, do you think that she could be holding something over Daddy? I don't understand. Well, do you think it's just a coincidence that Pamela is involved in Daddy's life and all this is happening? And do you really believe he would go back to her after what happened between he and Mama? I don't know. He was really upset about the TJ stuff, and... I mean, it's convenient. I don't think it's the real reason. Well, then what? What is it? Well, right now, everybody believes that Daddy is involved in this Hal Clark case. Maybe he's not. What I'm thinking is maybe he's protecting Pamela. Yeah, it's possible. What, what are you getting at, Eden? Do you think Pamela could have some secret that she's using against Daddy? What kind of secret? I don't know. Look, I know this is touchy because of Jeffrey. But do you think you could talk to her? I don't know what good it's going to do. It, she would never open up to me. You know Could that. You try? I mean, we got to help Daddy. We got to find out if he's protecting her. All right, all right, I'll do what I can. Somebody blew up that boathouse, Kelly. Somebody's hiding something. We've got to find out why. Lock the door, man. I don't think we were followed. Do you know anything about karma? Huh? Disturbing the dead is not good for your karma. You know, we gotta find a decent place to hide these things, man. I, there's people in this town that want to get their hands on these bones. Here, hold this, will you? Is this Hal Clark? Well, I hope not, because if it is, Mr. C has a problem. Hand me one of those. Hand me, uh, hand me these here. These are attached. Hand me these two right there, will you? Cruzy, are these real human bones? Yeah, they're absolutely human bones. Listen, Look at them. Pal. I love working with you. I love being with you. I travel to the end of the world and back, but everybody has a limitation. And this is mine. Now, come on, bro. Okay. Give me the bones. We're talking about a person's remains here. You do not mess with the dead. Look, Understand? Yeah. We are not defiling the resting place of some lost native peoples here, man. This is a possible homicide victim. I mean, think yeah. of it. We're giving this person a chance for a decent burial, you know? Right, right. A decent burial. That's right. Oh, boy. This stuff gives me the GBs. <laughs> What, what, are, what is the matter with you, man? Just hurry up, will you? Hurry. You know, it's a good thing I didn't bring the skull back. I went down there looking for the head, but I couldn't find it. Yeah, I'll tell you, maybe a couple of dolphins are playing head hockey with it somewhere. Maybe a school of fish are using it in the next anatomy class. I don't know, and I don't care! I'm gonna drop these off with a friend of mine who works in forensics. Right, maybe he right. can tell us something about this guy. Yeah, well, is he gonna be able to tell if it's uh, Al Clark or what? Well, I don't think he can get a positive idea, but hopefully he'll be able to get the sex and maybe the size and uh, the age, how long our friend had been in the water. This is not my friend. Yeah, we gotta find ourselves some kind of safe or bank vault or something, but it's way too late, man. I don't know what we're gonna do. I know something a little bit better than a... than a vault. Shh, come here. What? No, man. Look, come we can't hide these in your closet. We have... What is Sometimes it? it sticks. What is this? What place is this? What the hell is this? There's something I should have told you about a long time ago. Shut the door. Now, I'm, I'm somewhat concerned about the karmic stuff coming off of those bones. You know, once they're released from the bag, all the uh, strangeness permeating the air. Strangeness permeating the air, mm -hmm. yeah. Intense. Put him in here. Put it in here. Uh, whatever you say, Cal. Our friend Ludwig over here. <clears throat> he can help with the, uh, Decomposing. Voila. What could be easier? Oh, uh, a bank vault, but, uh, 
This'll do. You know something, man? You never cease to amaze me. Hi, Ted. How you doing? Hi. Are you all moved into your apartment and everything? Yeah. All decorated? Yep. Good. Good, so how have you been? Great. I'm just doing great. The apartment is, is looking more like a home than home ever did. Really? So you, you don't miss your family or anything? No way. Oh. Um, I read in the paper about the explosion. Obviously, you're okay, but I, I was worried. Is everybody else all right? Who knows? Who cares? Oh, come on, Ted. I mean, I, I, I know you can't mean that. You care more about your family than that. All I know is that no one was hurt. And which is a major miracle, considering this whole group loves to hurt each other. And you know what? I don't even care. If I can get all these decorated... Well, this one looks perfect. I think it's beautiful. Hey. Sorry to interrupt. Hi, Doc. Come in. How are you, Angel? You look well, wonderful. Good. You feel okay? I feel great. No more mumps. Good. PJ? Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah, well, ladies, I'll tell you what, I'm going to uh, take off and make a phone call. I have a feeling that the uh, crowd down to Larry has in dire need of better service. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, see you later. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Good luck. Bye. 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 Well, I'd say it's beautiful. It's, it's very together. You look very together. I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you. And you look happier than I've seen you in a long time. I am happy, and TJ makes me happy. He has seen me through this whole situation without any question. Well, I guess I have to admit that he must be pretty good for you. And I feel terrific being independent again. And I'm so glad to be running my own company. I should have done it a long time ago. Eden, I have an idea. I have a proposition for you. Why don't you come and work with me? Let's, let's join forces. We'd be terrific together. Oh, Mama, I'd love to, but I don't really think it's the right time. I'm concentrating on wanting to have a family and deciding what I'm going to be when I grow up. <laughs> I understand. Besides, so this really isn't my area. You know, Kelly's really the one with the flair for fashion. I know. I already asked her, and she turned me down, too. Yeah, I heard. Maybe you want to ask her again. Why? Well, I tend to think that she said no because she was afraid of taking sides between you and Daddy. I mean, I could talk to her if you want me to. I'd like that very much. Thank you. Okay, I will. Now, tell me what else is on your mind. Well, just seeing your new life. Everything seems so perfect. I just wonder what you're going to do with the old one. I heard you filed papers, Daddy told me. He's really hurting, Mama. Not hurting, Eden. He's living with Pamela. He's not hurting. He filed his own papers, obviously, so we could get out of this and be with her. No, I don't think so. Well, then you're deluding yourself. There is nothing holding us together anymore. Daddy isn't with Pamela out of love. She's had a hold on him for a long time. Maybe, but it's not love. I don't know what it is, but... Well, it... maybe it's lust. I don't know what it is either, and I'm going to tell you something else. I don't know. I don't care. Kids have got to be in there. No, they don't. Yes, they do. I mean, after all, there's no lights on at cruises, and all the lights are on in so Pearl. So what? So when we drove up, we saw Cruz's car driving away. I mean, Cruz's car, Keith. Maybe he brought the bones with him, Gina. We'll see about wait, wait, that. Wait, what are you doing? You gonna call Pearl up? Yeah. That's very good. Hello. Listen, hi, lover boy. I was just wondering, do you have any bones lying around? You know, you're really disgusting. <laughs> I just want to see if somebody's <laughs> home. You're gonna really do this? Yes, I am. <laughs> <sighs> Hello. He's in? Hello. It's... 
Uh, it's uh, uh, Rita. Uh, Pearl? What? Pearl? Rita, is that you? R Pearl? Uh, what is it? I, I can hardly understand you. <coughs> I, I, I'm, I'm at, at Johnny's. And, and there's a, a, a fire. <coughs> Rita, why don't you call the fire department, for heaven's sake? I mean, I, I, I can't come right now. Hello? Rita? Hello? This is great, great. What am I going to do? A fire? I can't stay here. What about... What about the bag of bones? I can't... Wait a minute. The bones are locked up tight, and I got all the keys. If I lock all the doors and I take all the keys, what could go wrong? What? Nothing. Nothing could go wrong. Be back later. It'll be okay. You're dead. Where are you gonna go? To my lovely wife. Hello, are you with me? Yes, I'm sorry. No, no, you wanna tell me what's wrong? You won't like it. Try me. Daddy and Pamela? Kelly. What? Do you think she really loves him, Jeffrey? I mean, are they gonna stay together? I don't know. I, my mother is a very obsessive woman, you know? She's never gotten over CC, never quite gotten him out of her system. And does she love him? I don't know. I just don't know. Did she ever talk about him and say anything about their past? Hold on. Are you willing to make a pact with me? Depends. Okay. I propose that we don't talk about your family or my family, for that matter, for at least the next 24 hours. No, I'm wrong. Let's say 25 hours, okay? Just for the hell of it. You really think we can do it? I think we should try. Agreed. So what's next? I guess, uh, I guess I have to get on with my life, whatever that means. I'm not sure how to do that, but I know that you... Uh, well, you can't set the clock backwards. But you can't just step away from an entire lifetime together. No. I can't, and I don't intend to. I'm at peace with myself. I really am. And I feel like I'm growing, and I couldn't stop that if I wanted to. Your father and I have a lifetime of memories, honey. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Right now, the bad ones outweigh the good ones. That could change in time. Well, I'm not going to stop hoping that you and Daddy get back together. Eden, you have to understand something. That's not going to happen unless he changes. He's going to have to look at me as who I am. Not what he thinks I should be. And right now, I don't think it's possible. It's a little late for that. I mean, Pearl isn't a rocket scientist, but I think he will, sooner or later, figure out that Johnny's is not on fire. Bingo. I got an idea. What? The closet. Oh, yes. Closet. Chair. Floor. Come on. All right, you can stash bones in there. There's no bones. There's no bones. They've got to be in here somewhere. Just keep looking. Oh, but Dad, no, they don't. Cruz can be away with him someplace. I mean, he, he's got the bones, and we got Bupkis. Oh, where does this always happen to us? Why in the world does this always happen to us? Why don't we get one break? Why don't we just win once? Gina, where? Gina. Gina.
Don't go away again. I need to talk to you. Be right back, love Eden. Those are nice. Hello? Cruz, Zach Hayes, forensics. Oh, how you doing, man? You got anything? Yeah, um, I did that prelim on the tip that you sent me. Now, the best that I could come up with was that it was definitely human, adult, six feet tall, and around 30 years old at the time of death. And that's it? Sorry, but uh, we're not equipped to give you the kind of detail that you want. Well, would you happen to know who is, Zach? Well, I got a contact at the University of Chicago. He's probably the best in the country. Now, I can send it out tonight by courier, but you'd probably get the results in about a week. Hope that doesn't hold you up. Ooh, man, listen, is there any way you could speed this up? It's real important. Well, I can call him tonight and see, but I can't guarantee it. Okay, well, I'd really appreciate that. Just, just give it your best shot, okay? I'll be talking to you. Bye. I missed you too. Hmm. Anything new? Just this. What? <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that all day. Mm. Mm. Ah. Mm. Ah. Hi guys. Oh, hi. Hi, hi, pal. How you doing? Hi. I can see I'm interrupting, so I um I uh, I won't I won't even ask. In fact. <laughs> oh, Ted. You guys are amazing, you know that? No, listen, you know, you're, you're dealing with a couple of newlyweds who haven't seen each other all day. I mean, we are entitled, aren't we? What? Well, look, um, look, Ian, I just want to talk to you. I just want... Oh, brother, you guys. Hello, come hey, on. What, what, what? I just wanted to say, I wanted to welcome Eden home, and I thought, I don't know, you guys want to go out and get some food? But it's probably a bad time, isn't it? Well, actually, um, it kind of is a bad time. We were thinking about staying in tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. I, you guys are still honeymooning, aren't you? Oh, listen, it'd be, you know, it'd be nice. Why don't we uh, pull up some couch and uh, I'll pour a little wine no, and no, no, uh, no, I was going to have a fire. No, no, no. Let's do hunk of fun. Come, Come on, man. Let's down. go. Hunk of fun. We'll talk. Here, let me move this. How you been? Uh, fine. fine. I got my own place. Yeah, I mean, it's not big, you know, like the house. It's mine. Well, that's great. Well, that's great, man. Well, it's that not that great. Like, yeah. I wasn't sure, you know, about moving away from mom and dad at first. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah, Thank cheers. You. All right. I don't know. It just hurts so much to see him, you know, fighting, so that's why I moved. I know what you mean. You know, I just want everybody to be back together. I don't, I don't understand what's happened. I, I... Ted, don't give up hope. Mom and Dad, they may get back together. Maybe it's not over. I got a job offer today. Yeah? Yeah. I got a call from one of the big five PR firms. I turned it down, though, because they wanted me to travel, but the money was good. Well, how did these people find your name? How did they get your name? One of the clients was here at the Lair during the Beast promotion, and I guess they just ran and raved about me to the firm. And, uh, I don't know, it was just sort of funny thinking that not only Jake, but I got a break from it. I guess so. Yeah. Well, anyway, it sounded like a good job, but it's just bad timing, you know? What do you mean by bad timing? Well, I figured with the baby coming in a few months, it'd be pointless for me to take this job and have to leave once I got settled in. So you're not serious about all this, are you? Hmm? About what? About working. Jeffrey, you and I can't live on love alone. I can't. Besides, I like to work. And this was the perfect situation. This is exactly what I wanted. And if it wasn't for the travel right now, I probably... What is it? I'm just surprised. You know, I thought, I thought we talked about this. I thought you understood my reasons for not wanting you to work while you were pregnant. I do understand. But I like working. And I need to work. So when the right job comes along, I'm going to take it. I see. They're not here. Don't start again. Come on. Just keep looking. I am. <gasps> if somebody stole those bones, if somebody stole those bones, Cruzy is going to be mad as my hat. Everything seems to be kosher in here. But you never can trust. No. Not the attorney general these days, not the governors, not even Rita. Maybe she was trying to pull a trick on me. Yeah, Rita. No, no. 
wasn't her. It was those phone freaks again. That's who it was. Why don't they just stick with dialing 976P and not bother me? Craig, still here. Well, of course they're still here. Where would they go? Okay, guys. Just stay put. Or girls. What? Yeah, Mr. Timmons, you thought you'd pull a big boner and catch my butt, huh? Yes, sir. And make off with all the evidence. Well, the prevailing pearl showed you another way. Yeah, right. That guy sure talks a lot. Honey, he just goes, can you imagine what he's talking for? Try it now, dirt bags. Try it now. Yeah. Cruzy, I'm in bad need of your help. I don't think I can walk. What do we do now? Now the good Lord decided that he'd make him a man. Dinner was great. Yeah, it was, it was. <clears throat> Want someone to drink? No, thank you. I'm not. I'm not mad. I understand. I do. Do you? Yes, yes. I mean, I like to work, too. You know, it's important. It just, it makes you feel human sometimes. Oh, thank you. No, you know what I mean. It makes you feel like you're contributing to humanity. So, yeah, I do. I understand why you want to work. I just assume that... That if... having a baby is enough contribution to humanity. Listen. Having our baby is the priority here. It is my number one job, but I have put too much into my career. And I don't want to give it up, and I don't see any reason why I should have to. So you want to be a working mother and a businesswoman. You know, the thing is, one of those eventually has to suffer, don't you think? I don't know. I'm reconsidering the job with my mother, Jeffrey. Seriously considering? Yes. Now listen, it's flexible. I, I can have my own hours. I can do a little bit of work before the baby comes. And the job description sounds great. But? What's the problem? I don't trust TJ. And I figured that is a good a reason as any for me to take the job, because I can watch him and make sure he doesn't take advantage of my mother. You know, my darling, your mother is a very lucky woman to have you. And I think, yes, it would be great for Sophia to have your support right now. Really? Yes, I do, I think so. But I still am not crazy about the idea of your being a working mother, and I do not like... You're working while you're pregnant, but at least this way you'll be with your family. Yes, that's it. Mm. And um, when I have the baby, I can take him with me or her to work. And who knows, maybe I could find a way to get mother and daddy back together again. Well, let's not get too carried away. Oh, you, I love you so much. Oh, you're the best. Yeah. Now this is a magnificent office. Huh? Look at this place. I especially like that print over there. Kind of brings the uh, entire focus of the office right, right around you. I mean, I had to say like Mr. Interior Design, but uh, the way you have a place next to your desk kind of brings the entire thing co coalesced to where you're sitting. The base of power. Huh? What do you think? Sophia, hello? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I just got finished saying how I thought the, the office looked beautiful and what well, you look beautiful and... Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Are you okay, then? I was thinking. Yeah, well, because of the way you're thinking. I, what, I mean, you think about something bad, something good, well, what? I don't know. How do I look? How do you look? Sad. I'm not sad at all. I am not sad. I am tired. You must be some kind of a superman to have all this energy after a day of lifting and pushing and pulling. No, 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 no. Don't give me all that. It wasn't that big a deal, okay? Just don't hide from me. All right? And if you've got something on your mind, tell me. I can handle it. You don't have to worry about handling it, except for my kids. You're the best thing that's happened to me. It's, it's, it's a separation. It's thinking about a divorce. It's tough. Stuff when people are going through it, it's worse for the family. My kids feel betrayed, confused, they don't understand. They come to me for answers. I don't have any, and I'm the parent, and I'm supposed to be the one that has them. I know. I look, we've gone through this so many times before, baby. I can't replace your family, right? And I sure as hell don't have all the answers. But I want you to know something. It's, I mean, I'm here for you, you know? I want you to know that when you're with me, it's... It's a safe place to be. Feels like it. Yeah. Good. I'll tell you what. What? We've both been working way too hard. I think all so. All this interior design. Yeah. Let's get losing, all right? What we need is we need a romantic, far away, okay. candlelit yeah. dinner for two. For two. Ce soir. Yeah. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. Are you? Yes. Here we go then. Let's yes. sweep your words oh. in my arms, huh? <laughs> I have to carry you all this way. You got to buy me extra dinner. You know what I'm saying? I'm not buying it. Yeah. Oh. Pretty clever. I've done this before. Buy you! <laughs> so, what's the deal? Am I going to sit here all night or what? No. Did I agree to that? No. I thought Cruz was coming back here. That's right. Maybe I should call him. Correct. Maybe I should tell him about that, uh, that phony alarm call. That's right. Three, two, eight, seven. Wait a minute. What time is it? Oh, man, I can't call. Eden just got home. If she just got home, that means that they're probably, you know, I mean, that means that, you know, a night that would never end. This is incredible. What did we do to deserve this? The man is a lunatic. Who was that? Okay, Bones. It wasn't my idea. It really wasn't. I didn't mean to disturb you. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. out of my mind. I'm the one that risked my life, that almost drowned. I've gone through endless amounts of ridiculous garbage trying to find those bones, and we finally get our hot little hands on them, and we are foiled by a man who's got the brains of a soft taco. True. But let's get our hot little hands on them before we go. What do you say? Oh, I'd love to see the way you use your pick. I'll call Cruz. That's what I'll do. I really should just uh, call him, because he'll, he'll know what the deal is all about here. What's the matter with me? What's the matter? I'm just getting spooked. Nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing. The man with the golden hand. Yeah. Just remember Goldfinger. Now that we finally got these bones. At least I don't have any way to get out. It's okay, darling. We just wait until he falls asleep. Then we tiptoe past him. Till then, I think I have a wonderful way to exercise my golden hands. No, 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 no. Drop on ZZ.
Ezekiel, the neck of them. Dry bones now heave the word of the Lord. The face bone connected to the ankle bone, the ankle bone connected to the shin bone, the shin bone connected to the knee bone, the knee bone connected to the thigh bone, the thigh bone connected to the hip bone, the hip bone connected to the back bone, the back bone connected to the neck bone, the neck bone connected to the head bone. Now here the word of the Lord. Them bones, them bones, blood. Walk around them bones, them bones, blood. Walk around them bones, them bones, blood. Walk around them here the word of the Lord. Disconnect them bones, them dry bones. Disconnect them bones, them dry bones. Disconnect them bones, them dry bones. C.C. Capo, you are mine. You are mine, all mine. These bones are so beautiful. I mean, I could just kiss you. Lusting. Not the bones, darling. You. Oh. Oh, you know what, lady? I'm tired of your melancholia. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take a trip. Trip? Yes. We're gonna take a trip to um, San Francisco. Bed and breakfast, down bed, breakfast in bed. Yes. Knob Hill. <laughs> Knob Hill. Yes. And if it doesn't work out there, how about Marin County? Do they have breakfast in bed at Marin County? No, they don't, but do you like to ride? I'd love to ride. Do you? Yeah. I have a friend of mine that owns a stable. Yeah? We can go on the beach, moonlight horseback riding. Very nice, sort of perfect commercial. Sounds wonderful. So? 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 So, I, ca I can't. I have obligations that we can. Oh, how thrilling. Now, don't be that way. Don't do that. It's a charity thing. I promised that I'd chair a committee to put on a charity function, and I promised that I'd meet them this weekend. Why don't you do like a telephone to TJ? Yeah, I can't. Excuse me. Mrs. Capwell, there's yes. a phone call for you. Oh, th thank you. Okay. Hello? Mama? It's Kelly. Hi. Hi. Is this something wrong? No, no, nothing's wrong. I just, um, I had something to talk to you about and I couldn't wait until tomorrow. Well, what is it? Uh, well, what would you say if I told you I was considering the offer? Working for me? Yeah. Well, I haven't really decided, but I, there's a few questions I want to throw at you. That's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, can we have lunch tomorrow? Or whenever you have free time, you tell me. Of course. Anytime. Just come over to the office. I'll make time for you when you get there. Okay, great. I'll see you then. I love you. I love you, too. Bye. What? Guess what? What? Kelly's going to do it. She's going to work for me. See? I thought she was going to work out all right. Oh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good, but I like to paint my house with Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't realize how late this thing was. Well, that's okay. I'm glad you dropped by. I hope you understand why we didn't go out tonight. No, I definitely understand. I hope I didn't intrude. No, and you don't have to apologize, man. We like seeing you. Okay. Well, let's definitely go out to dinner then some other night. Hey, are you kidding? Okay. We'd love to. All right, good. Yeah, no problem. That would be, that'd be fun. I, I appreciate this. I just, you know, need to... With family for a little bit. Yeah. We understand, really, man. You know, so you don't have to explain it. Love you. Okay, you guys, I love you. Get some sleep. Okay, you too. See you later. Drive safe. I will. What a kid. Mm. 
I guess I needed to be with somebody, too, right? And that makes another one of us. Did you get my notes and messages? Yes, I did. And I appreciated them a great deal, but they're not a substitute for the genuine article. This here is the genuine article. How were you today? I was missing you. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Did you see your daddy? Yes, I did. I talked to him. Seems really alone. Sort of sad. I told him that there were some pretty serious accusations being flung around. I needed some honest answers. And what did he say? He told me he wasn't responsible for anything anybody's accusing him of. Hmm. Yeah. Well. What do you think? Well, I believe him. Cruz Kelly and I, we think that maybe Daddy's protecting Pamela. That maybe Pamela has something on Daddy and she's forcing him to protect her. I can't believe for a minute that my father would kill anybody. I believe he's telling me the truth. Can you honestly tell me he's lying? No, I can't. All I can tell you is I love you. I do. Tonight on Aaron's Way, Connie's roguish ex-husband shows up to delight the kids and upset the family apple cart. What are his real motives for returning to the fold? Then Dr. Westfall returns to resolve a series of crises in an unusual episode of St. Elsewhere. And on the Bronx Zoo, a teacher is accused of preaching religion under the guise of science. Can Joe Danzig unite a bitterly divided staff? Only on NBC.